you. Thank you for joining me. So I've got a sad reality for everybody. Um, basically, we got $4,065 right now, and that's good. I'm not complaining. I mean, that's a, I, I'm not going to complain about any kind of donations that we ever get. Uh, the issue is if I want to be a responsible rescue, I have to get at least anywhere between two and $2,500 a horse because I have to be able to care for them. And normally I can reach into our personal funds and, and help save the horses' lives. But my husband this time around has been in the hospital and he's been ill and he was unable to go to his normal job. And so I don't think he's going to be able to go back to his normal job for at least three months. So I cannot dip into my own personal funds anymore to rescue these horses. I just can't. Um, the money that we have, our personal money, is going to have to go to help us survive personally because, you know, the, the rescue is totally uh, separate from what we do. So my husband is unable to um, help us out this month and maybe for the next three months. And so the reality is if I want to be a responsible breeder, I mean breeder, <laughs> rescue, gosh, I'm sorry, my brain is not here today. If I want to be responsible rescue, um, I have to get $2,500 per horse because the, the auction fees might be higher too. You know what's going to happen. It's um, These horses are going to go to a really bad fate and um, that's not a good thing. They're either going to kill buyers either going to get them or they're going to go to the horse traders and that's bad too because what's going to happen is those horse traders are going to take them and put them in a bad facility not get medical care that they need no hardly any food and water and they'll sit there if they survive till the next auction and in the heat that we have here I don't know if they'll even survive it you know I I don't know so basically we can't rescue very many horses this time and I, I know t times are tough but we are probably the only rescue, well I'm not going to say the only rescue but one in very few that are extremely transparent to you guys. We show you the whole auction so you know where the funds are going. We show you everything that we get done with the horses so you know that they are being taken care of we show you everywhere they go we show you where they go and who they go to and we give you updates and not very many rescues will do that they'll sit there and beg for money and they'll ask for you know anywhere between 2500 and 4500 dollars a horse and their auction bills like a hundred bucks but we're not like that. We're, we don't do that. Okay, we don't. We're a transparent rescue. And we would like to continue being a transparent rescue. And we want to be able to rescue as many horses as we possibly can. But this is a dire emergency for today. I Normally, I wouldn't be begging you the way I am begging you because... My husband always puts in his own funds to be able to rescue the horses that need to be rescued and then we figure it out later on. But, you know, it's, I, mean, I don't have my husband to back us up this time at all. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen. So uh, if you guys want to see these horses be saved, I need people to please step up and donate as much as you possibly can because... It's going to happen. We're going to. The another thing about this auction, too, is we only have two hours after showing you the horses when they all go in the ring. 
And that's not very long to ask for donations. And if we're online bidding and everything, it's really hard to, one, see if anybody is donating. And two, um, I have seconds, seconds to be able to say yes to a horse. So if it, it, it takes longer than that for the donations to go through. So that's why we always ask that we get our donations ahead of time so that way when we go into the ring and he's going da la 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 calling one, two, three, and it's done, we can raise our hands. But at this time, that's not going to happen for very many horses at all. And um, the kill buyers are going to win this time. The horse traders are going to win this time. And believe you me, they're there to raise the prices on me today. I can guarantee you that because I have stopped them for the past three months. And now it's going to be a game they're going to play. They're going to play that game of how much more can I make her pay. And so a $1,000 horse might be $1,500 horse. A $1,200 horse might be $1,800. You know, they're going to play that game against me because they're going to say, hey, you know, she's here to rescue as many as she possibly can. So, hold on for a minute. I got someone coming into the pool here. I got to get out of the way here. <laughs> so, yeah, let me go over here. Over here. Sorry, guys. I was seeing over by the pool, so quiet but you know it's a it's a hotel so <laughs> can't tell everybody they can't come in there but anyways i am i am basically begging you guys right now to help us out as much as you possibly can because you know it's it's going to come down to the point where we just are going to have to walk through there this afternoon and say no i'm sorry and we're going to have to stand there in the ring and not raise our hands and I'm going to have to tell you, Gil Byer got it. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you uh, that the horse went back to the horse trader. Wow, that's going to be really, really hard. It's, it's times like this that I just I get, I get discouraged because I don't want to see these horses end up in the wrong hands. I don't want to see them go to slaughter. I don't want to see them um, go back to the horse trader. And... You know, it's been a tough re week for me, um, but I've held down the fort. I've learned to drive a big rig. I've delivered horses that would have normally went to sl slaughter to find them new forever homes. And um, that's what our job is. That's our mission, to be able to save these horses from a horrific death, to be able to be find forever homes. And... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that this time. Yeah. So I'm asking you guys to please stand with me and please donate as much as you possibly can so the horses won't go to slaughter and the horse traders won't get them back and they have to sit there and wait until the next auction and, and this heat and this Maybe they'll make it. Maybe they won't. That's just as bad as slaughter. That's just as bad of a death. So, <laughs> I'm asking everybody to please step up if you can. I know it's tough on everybody. I know it is, and I'm sorry. I would normally not even ask this. I would be able to dig into my own pocket, but I can't. Because, um, you know, my husband's not well. And, but I'm still, I'm still trudging on. I'm still rescuing the horses. I'm still doing everything I can. I just don't have the personal funds to do it. So I want to thank you guys all so very much for joining me and donating what you can. And please donate. And please join us this afternoon when we go to see the horses. I can't preview till 4.30 or 5. They won't let me in before that. And then the auction usually starts about 6.30.
So, like, I only have two hours. Two hours to tell you guys what's up. So, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I normally aren't... Normally not like this. And um, I want to be able to be the transparent rescue you want me to be. I don't want to not show you the horses. I, I don't want to not rescue the horses. So thank you guys also very much for everything. And um, oh, gosh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to compose myself for a little bit, check on my husband and, and then I'll take you this afternoon. But uh, I'm going to put a link somehow in this live. I'm not quite sure how I, I could do it. But if you go to our website, for the love of the hoof dot org, there's a donate button there. So please donate as much as you can. We accept PayPal directly. It's for the hoof at gmail dot com. We accept Zelle for the hoof at gmail dot com. And um, that will get to us instantly. Fundraiser on Instagram. We won't see those funds for sixty days. And those funds usually go to help for the hay because our hay bill is almost four thousand dollars a month. <laughs> um, so I need to get the Instagram funds for the hay. That's what happens, and that's usually in sixty days is when I see that money. So I appreciate everything again for you guys, everything you guys are doing for us, and um, I know that we can do this together. We can fight together. We can stand together. We can rescue those horses so they aren't suffering. And uh, thank you guys so very much. I appreciate it all. Have a great morning. <laughs>